Good day, YouTubers! Welcome again to my YouTube channel. This is Carlito from Carlitos Cobana. So for today, I'm really excited. I finally got my pre-order. So right now, you are not seeing anything on my screen. So what am I gonna be reviewing today? It's none other than... Boom! Yes! So finally have my pre-order. So for today, I'll be reviewing, unboxing, and doing a short review of the Infinity Saga Marvel Legends Iron Man Mark 85 and Thanos 2-pack. So this is the one I'm really excited to to do a review. Uh, I got this yesterday. So it's still hot off the press, <laughs> as they say. But anyway, before I proceed, I would like to ask everyone to please do watch, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So let's begin. Anyway, uh, I would like to thank Uncle Ben's Toys for this uh, two-pack. I was able to pre-order it to their uh, Facebook page. So to Kenneth of Uncle Ben, thank you bro for this item. So if you'd like to see their items for sale, uh, I'm putting a link uh, of their Facebook page below. So please do visit their Facebook page. So again, Uncle Ben, thank you bro. So let's proceed. So this is part of the Infinity Saga line. So this is uh, the Iron Man Mark 85 and Thanos. So basically, this is one of the sought after uh, items in this line because of basically the RDJ head sculpt. So everyone is really dying to get their hands on this bad boy because of the RDJ head sculpt. So basically, let's do a quick scan of the box. So this is what it looks like. So you have uh, the Iron Man Mark 85. Then you have Thanos. So basically, this is what the box looks like. So at the side, you have the standard uh, graphic here. So at the back, you have the Avengers Endgame uh, poster. But instead of the RDJ's uh, head, they put the <laughs> Iron Man helmet on. <laughs> So I don't know why. So under uh, at the left side you have uh, uh, Iron Man's uh, description. Next you have Thanos. Then you rotate it. You'll see the other side of the Infinity Saga graphic. Oops. So uh, I'm really shaking with excitement. So let's open this bad boy now. Okay guys, so here is a quick look of what the items look like out of the box inside the clamshell. So you can see you have the Tony Stark, uh, Iron Man Mark 85. You have two head sculpts, the uh, Iron Man uh, helmet and another RDJ head sculpt. So you have four extra hands and of course the accessory blaster. You also have his, uh, I don't know, we call this uh, sword slash knife or something, and the, sh uh, the shield. Then for Thanos, actually, no, uh, Thanos has three, three additional head sculpts. So, wow. And his uh, sword slash, I don't know, saber. And actually, only has one extra hand okay so this is what it looks like out of the box so now let's pause for a few seconds while i take these two bad boys out of their clamshells okay guys so now i have both uh iron man and thanos out of their clamshells uh i'd be honest with you for the iron man i was really having oh see i was really having a hard time uh, having him stand up so basically both figures are out of the box and unchanged so this is what they look like no i i didn't swap hands or heads yet so let's start with the tony figure of course the star of the show of course is the uh the snapping hand so this is uh basically what everyone was uh really the reason why everyone's really looking forward to this uh figure 
So this is what it looks like up close. And most especially the I don't know, the RDJ head. This is the battle damage one. So let me just put the his hands so you guys can see the head sculpt. Let me see if I can put more light. So there. Uh, I I hope it's uh, I don't know. So there, if you could see really, wow, no. Up close though, uh, the RDJ figure really looks amazing. Wow, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm speechless. So basically, this is what the fig looks like. So uh, it's a bit darker compared to the previous uh, Mark eighty five. But I really like how the gold is in this figure. No, it's uh, much shinier compared to the previous Mark eighty five. So here, but my I don't know my initial uh, well uh, reaction lang is I was really having a problem making this guy stand up. Okay, so this is what it looks like the sides. Uh huh. Let me see if I can make him zoom. Then this is what. He looks like the back hmm, there so probably zooming him so again so there now as far as uh, articulation hmm, so you can move it there up down uh, I think this is what they call double jointed the elbow part um, so you can move the um, his uh, upper body so you can swivel this part as well uh, here's the leg part the knees as far as the foot um, you can move him to the side and front and back okay so that's Iron Man. So let's go to Thanos. So they have for Thanos they have the one that is uh, uh, I think the effect being dusted. So basically this is my first Thanos figure and you know I'm really uh, I really like this one in terms of its bulk. Uh, in uh, it looks massive <laughs> so here he looks up front and you can see some dusting uh, in his armor already so then here's for the head part so here's the back as far as articulation uh, here's he can move down you can move up um, yeah in terms of the arms you can do this uh, elbows there's the elbow hmm I don't not sure how much I could move the elbow ah there so there's for the elbow part so basically he has one snapping uh, gun, the finger as well no but without the infinity stones yeah, so this is what uh, Thanos looks like Okay, so now let's try to head swap the head of uh, RDJ. So again, no, I really love how uh, the RDJ head sculpt looks like. So I'm gonna be swapping it with this uh, Iron Man um, helmet. Okay, so as far as the head articulation, uh, I forgot to mention. So it can move. Uh, I think in terms of movement. Uh, they have a new jo peg joint here uh, uh, compared to previous Marvel Legends when you remove this you remove the whole neck I believe let's see mm -hmm. there so the difference with this one is you, you actually remove aside from the head you remove the neck part as well but I think the advantage of this one is it makes the head uh, the head movement move more realistic 
compared to previous uh, uh, mo uh, figures. So that's the difference of the head sculpt for this one. So, so let me pop the. Okay, so you just press it down to change the the head. So this is what uh, the Mark eighty five armor looks like. So there. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. When you have the RDJ head sculpt, when you put this helmet, it looks blah. <laughs> so you really wanted him to use the what you call this? You use the Robert Downey Jr. head. Okay. So now let's do a brief comparison. So. Uh, this is the new uh, Mark 85. This is the OG Mark 85. So as you could see, they look, uh, in terms of the red, no, I think I preferred the red in this one, the original Mark 85. But as far as uh, the overall armor, no, I like naman the glossiness of the gold paint of the new Mark 85. Basic. I think it's just a repaint of the old uh, of this one so as you can see the gold it looks nicer and uh, the dark the black accents uh, it adds a little element but for this one if you're uh, what do you call this if you prefer the helmeted mark 85 uh, for me personally I go with the OG one compared to this one but let's be realistic now you bought this one not to get the iron man helmet so you bought this one because of the of the rdj helmet <laughs> so this is what they look like beside and at the back now again you'd see some difference now uh, in terms of um, the accents now it's much visible on the new one compared to the og one so you can see the new one there's some black accents so this one it's uncolored Ayan. so again this is what it looks like at the side and at the front so um, actually no the the red looks nicer here but the overall uh, paint apps or paint color looks nice on the new mark 85 but in terms of the helmet, I like how the helmet looks like on the on the OG one. Okay. So for now, let's do some size comparisons for the figures. Okay, so one more thing I noticed with my Iron Man for this one. I don't know if this is um, what you call this uh, QC issue. So there's a paint here. And there's no paint here. <laughs> Damn. But anyway, I guess uh, if this is a battle damage uh, Mark 85, I guess mm, it's possible. But it really looks. Uh, I just realize it now. No, so <laughs> there's the gold paint here. So there's no paint uh, application on this uh, part of the shoulder. So bummer. <laughs> okay so we have the two mark 85 so on the left side you have the og mark 85 you have the new mark 85 in the middle and at the uh, right side you have the mark the og mark 50 um so basically in size wise i think they look the same but uh, personally when i was uh, holding both uh, mark 85s now i feel i feel that the the OG85 is a bit, uh, I think, bit heavier compared to the new uh, 85. Okay, so now we have uh, Thanos standing alongside um, the 10th anniversary Tupac uh, Hulk. Actually, this is my only uh, action figure that I feel could match with uh, Thanos. I don't have the Hulkbuster with me right now, so this is just for comparison purposes. 
Um, actually, no, they, I think they look, uh, no, no, size-wise, no, I think they're almost at the same size, which I feel might be a bit, uh, film accurate, considering, uh, especially when you consider the, uh, where Thanos battled, uh, Hulk in Infinity War. So, Hulk's, uh, bulkier, but, uh, Thanos is not looking pretty bad himself. <laughs> okay. Damn, so this is the money shot. <laughs> this is the post. This is the post. The reason why you'll be getting this uh, action figure. Of course, aside from the head sculpt. So, uh, in closing, so this is really an awesome buy. So, I'm really stoked of uh, getting this finally. So, I... Uh, I pre-ordered it, so they say patience is a virtue, so what the heck, uh, I waited and it really is worth the wait. So, um, again, I did not get the, no, no, uh, fortunately, I, I don't know if that's the same for the other Iron Man, but for me, no, uh, that unpainted uh, shoulder is, well, it's a bit of a letdown, but you know, but it couldn't dampen my, you know, my spirit. So, I'm really so psyched that I finally got this too. So, uh, this is a must-have, I should say. If you're an MCU Marvel Legends collector. So, this is uh, a set that you shouldn't be missing. Because this is, uh, I don't know, these two symbolizes the culmination of the whole MCU movie okay so there you have it so for me this is a must buy so guys if you can get your hands on this too go do it uh, I can assure you guys now you won't be regretting getting this too okay so with that so I'd like to thank you guys for Watching the unboxing and uh, this is a short review of the two figures of the Infinity Saga 2-pack Iron Man Mark 85 and Thanos. So again guys, so please um, thank you for watching the videos. I hope you continue to uh, support this channel. So please uh, watch previous videos that I have uh, reviewed of Marvel Legends. Uh, specifically, you know, Iron Man figs, um, as well as, uh, please do watch out for other um, Iron Man fi Marvel Legend figures that I'll be reviewing pretty soon. Okay, so please do watch, like, subscribe, and please support my channel. So with that, thank you and stay safe.